Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on the Patreon page, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They mean the world to me. This is the daily forecast for, uh, oh my God, what day is it? Friday. <laughs> Friday the 29th. So um, hopefully you guys had a good full moon in Leo. Remember that the energies of that full moon in Leo will still be releasing for the next few days. So enjoy them. Uh, so this is for Friday the 29th. It is a timeless reading in the sense that it is a broad spectrum reading for the highest good. Um, uh, originally intended for Friday the 29th of January, but not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date, know that the message is timeless and you could still potentially use it in your life. Just continue to watch it and see if it makes any sense for you. It being broad spectrum, you are going to have to figure out where it fits in your life. Um, if you do figure out where that fits or if anything I'm saying makes sense for whatever you're going through right now. Know that any decisions you make uh, in your personal life are your responsibility. Always use your highest intelligence and intuition when making those decisions. Never take anything that I say over that of a professional in the field, i.e. a doctor, lawyer, or therapist. Always listen to them first and foremost. Um, and if anything doesn't fit or doesn't make sense, don't worry. That just means you might be working on something different. It doesn't mean anything's broken or wrong. Let's see what the cards have to say today. What do the cards want us to know? I guess my computer wants to chime in. Let's see. All right, for a want, I'll take it. Look at that happy, loving couple. Uh, wands would indicate the element of fire and that of desire. The four would be about, to me, I always determine fours to be about stability, but this could be like a wonderful homecoming. This could be a celebration of some sort. This could even be a wedding for some of you. It's certainly a time to celebrate, ideally. We do have that five of pentacles, which would be underneath this at this point, which is sort of weird to me because they're kind of totally opposite cards, one being really cold and chilly and the other being really warm and inviting. Maybe we've shifted that five of pentacles and we're no longer dealing with that energy. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like there's a total disconnect between these two. To me, this four of wands speaks to the idea of if there's opportunities to enjoy something today, take it and run with it. Um, really revel in it, really enjoy it. Enjoy those that you love, those that you feel connected to. Be grateful for them and thankful for them and really um, run with that. I think that that's the focus. I actually, I've not had this happen since doing the clarifiers and the underpinnings. I've not seen an underpinning that doesn't connect. Today, I don't feel like these are the same. I feel like this Five of Pentacles might have just drifted away from us. I hope that's the case. Um, but let's continue on with the clarifiers and see what they have to say. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. I love it. She would indicate sort of uh, groundedness, uh, loving care, fertility, um, abundance, uh, the ability to sort of feel what we want and be able to create it. The Four of Wands would also indicate the sort of like action being needed to take in to make those things happen. I feel like there really is a gratitude with this Queen of Pentacles behind this Four of Wands that speaks to the idea of really look at things as they are and really see the abundance in everything that you're experiencing. Oh, here's that Five of Pentacles. <laughs> it's the Five of Wands. Uh, the whole lot of fuckery card. Maintain that gratitude grounded balance of the Queen of Pentacles, if you find yourself in any sort of controversies, you will be able to celebrate. You will be able to not necessarily get pulled down to their level. You are above all of this as that Queen of Pentacles, and I think that you deserve more than this. And exactly, we're going to move away from all of them and their craziness with the Eight of Cups. So... Some of us may be departing stuff. That Eight of Cups could indicate some of that Five of Pentacles energy that we did feel underneath. But ultimately, I do feel like there is an opportunity today for us to feel good, to be grateful, to be thankful, um, to not necessarily... Um, let the heavy stuff get us down. Anything that is bothering us, anything that is maybe affecting us emotionally, we want to sort of steer clear, from, uh, clear of it, uh, find separations with it, Find acceptance for it. Don't fight against it. Don't struggle with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And move away from it or towards something new. That would be my hope for you guys today. Sorry, this is a late reading because I got sidetracked with the full moon and Leo. Um, so I'm going kind of quickly. 
So let's see what the grounding stone is. And the grounding stone is relax. <laughs> so uh, try and ease into it. I, that queen of uh, pentacles is seated. So when we relax into things, we want to also remember that the underpinning energy for this week was that stone of uh, energy, right? So when we re relax, we can maintain our energy and keep it in an even keel in a good place. There could be some stuff, like I said, with the five of uh, wands and that eight of cups, there could be stuff that we need to depart from, that we need to move on from. That would also be indicated in that underpinning energy of the five of pentacles. Uh, whatever it is, it's not serving us and we are headed to something better. We need to maintain that viewpoint, that goal, that um, focus and allow that to sort of propel us forward. Don't um, get caught into the sort of uh, extracurricular things of other people's attitudes, their personalities, their desires or whatever that sort of serves to only get in our way and uh uh, you know, mess with our peace today. There is certainly a possibility, uh, an option for peace with that Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands um, and with the Relaxed Stone, which tells me, like, do not get caught up in other people. There could be stuff that comes at you sideways today. Maintain your emotional stability or your balance and just kind of move away from it and, and keep your distance. Does that make sense? That is your forecast for the day. I hope that makes sense. It's a real quick one because I'm running way late in the afternoon. I want to get this up over at Patreon. Um, but uh, we will see what happens tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Also, check out the Full Moon in Leo uh uh, pick a card. It's good. You know, whenever you want to use it, it doesn't have to be used during the full moon in Leo, but you know, it was originally created for that purpose, like any of my readings. And, um, I look forward to seeing you guys, uh, tomorrow. All right. Have a great day and, um, take care. Bye-bye.